What's up guys? If you read the title, then you know what this video is about. It's a new video with new strategies because I've made a new goal and I wanted to pass those strategies on to you, which helped me. Um, firstly, let's just talk about the, the week that I had. Let me get my let me get my phone so I know what I'm what I'm talking about. The month, the month that I had, not the week, the month that I had from February to March. Um, I made over about $4,500 and that's just with DoorDash. That's not counting the other things that I'm doing, but this video is about DoorDash. So I'll stick on that topic. Um, so there are certain things that I did that I think that may be beneficial for you guys if you guys want to try them out. And the, the beauty of this is that the more that I do this, you know, things, things are going to change. Like last video, I believe I said that I only went out whenever it was busy, right? And I was making good money doing that. Well, that changed very quickly in January. Uh, when January rolled around, it was the deadest month that I'd done since, that I've had since doing DoorDash. Like, I think I, I was averaging like $400, $500 a week. Maybe sometimes I would get in the 630s which is, you know, it's, don't get me wrong, it's better than nothing, but it was not what I was expecting, especially, you know, with expenses and gas and everything. And this is before gas got to with what it is now, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but after January, I was like, yo, I can't really depend on it being busy because it was just so like sporadic. You couldn't tell when it would be busy. Like there wasn't those, those consistent busy times. Um, so what I found out is that you can schedule whenever you want to dash even before it's busy so you can have some guaranteed time to dash and even if it's not quote unquote busy you can still be out there and getting orders because they're still getting orders um, even when it's not busy it's just not as busy to bring anybody and everybody at the same time so what I started to do was schedule 11 to 3 and 5 to 9 um, every day in February whether it was busy or not and that way I always had at least four hours per day. It was really eight hours if you count both of them. I always had eight hours per day that I would dash. And if I wanted to go longer, like let's say like they did some kind of peak campaign that was like $3 or um, it it was dead. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But uh, I could go longer or I could go shorter than that. But I always had that time frame to go. And that was re really, really beneficial because every day like I knew like what what my goal was for the day whether it was 140 160 or 200 and I knew how much time I had within that within that so I knew which orders I could would or would not accept because it would it wouldn't work for that time frame right so that's one goal another I mean another strategy and another strategy that I did um, and this one may be harder for some of you who are only doing this like one or two days a week because it requires a lot more than that um, but if you're doing this like a lot consistently, like you're getting over a hundred orders a week, then this one may be very, very good for you. And something I didn't really know about. So did you guys know that DoorDash has a big order program? I didn't, I didn't even know what that was like, but apparently what it is is that it's a catering, like you get to deliver catered orders. So like if someone orders like a big ass order for like a party or just a big order, that's like, I think it's over like a hundred dollars. Um, you get more access to those orders and usually those tips are bigger and it's consistent it's not like every once in a while no 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 I, I would get these like one or two one or two times a day after they offered it to me and i'll just read you off some of the things that um, are required for it and this is why i say it may not be as useful for people who are only doing it like once or twice a week and you only have like 10 or 15 orders a week because you need about 100 orders a month um for you to be eligible for this. So this is what you need to take part in. I'm gonna put this on the screen too, if I remember how to do this. Um, so you need at least 200 lifetime deliveries. So again, like if you've been doing it and you do it, like 200 is nothing. Like I average at least 100 a week because I'm out there so often. Um, you need 100 deliveries over the past month. Again, nothing if you're doing this, you know, consistently. Um, you need at least a 4.7 star rating in the past month. Um, that one, it's not really too much in your control because you know I've gotten some one stars for reasons that I don't even know about. Um, DoorDash does do a good job of like excluding those if like it's because they're late because the restaurant was late or 
it took longer than expected or whatever, or if you get the order late and then the customer's mad about that. Um, but you know, sometimes people just give you orders because maybe they're having a bad day or they didn't like the way the food tastes. I don't know. Um, they don't really give a lot of feedback, but that's neither here nor there. I do have a thing that I've started doing that I, I've been doing since I started that gets me a lot of reviews. And that's just writing a little message saying, hey, hope you enjoy your food or hey, good morning. I, I really hope that you enjoy your food or thank you for the amazing tip. Like it's those little small things, you know, like it's not that I'm expecting anything from it, but you know, I know that, you know, not too many people say good morning to people or not too many people wish them to have, hope they enjoy their food. And you know, those little things could go a long way. And I do it not expecting anything, but I get a lot of reviews. Like I've, I'm consistently like above 4.9. Um, and lastly, um, a 95% completion rating over the past month. And this one, um, this one, it's not that hard, really, especially if you're doing like a lot of orders. Um, just accept the orders that you know that you would do. Um, granted, you know, you might get stuck in a restaurant waiting for like 25 minutes because they're backed up and you didn't know about it before you accepted it. And then you have two orders from that same restaurant. So if you cancel it, it's going to decrease your rating even more. But that's a lot. But I mean, you know, it's the reality. But the, the biggest tip I have for the 95% thing is just accept orders that you know that you're okay with doing, even if it goes bad, even if you might have to wait five or 10 minutes. Because in the end of the day, it's really worth it, especially if you get these. Because if you get the large orders, like I've gotten anywhere from 15 to like $40. And I'll show some like little uh, pictures of like orders that I've had. And it's consistent. You know what I mean? It's not just, oh no, like once a week I get this. Like, no, it's it's almost every every day or every other day that I get these orders. And oh, this is important. Um, whenever you whenever you're eligible for the program, they're going to say that you need to order a catering bag from them, um, which is like $34, but they give you a cold code that makes it like $8. Get it. Don't say like, oh my God, they just want to get more money from me. Like, yeah, that might, that may be the case, but honestly, like it pays for itself after the first, first order. Swear to you, like the first time I got it, uh, I spent $8 on it. The first order I got was like $35. So it paid for itself. And then some because I'm still getting the orders and you know it's kind of funny um, the, the bag is way too small for the catering orders so I don't understand why we need it but you know I have it and you have to take pictures of it um, that it's in your car or it doesn't even have to be that bag but if you have a bigger bag that's what they prefer for is a bigger bag moving on to the next strategy because I'm getting I'm getting ahead I'm getting I'm rambling again and I told myself I would not do that this video the last strategy that I did, um, and this is really just luck, um, is that, and this is the, this is what I did for uh, the day that I made three hundred dollars in one day. Um, it was rainy, and if you guys watch my TikTok videos or my Facebook videos, then you know like rainy days are really the best, especially rainy and cold, cloudy, muggy days. Those days that everybody described as nasty. Those are usually the best days to go out because nobody wants to go out and get food. Nobody wants to dash. So it's always very, very busy. And it's a good chance that there's going to be peak hours. And that Sunday, I think every like from like uh, seven to eleven, it was like three dollars extra peak pay. And then uh, that turned to like two dollars for like the rest of the day and then three dollars from uh, from like five to nine or something like that. So I really dashed from seven in the morning to, uh, I think I stopped at nine, but I had like, like uh, I stopped twice for like an hour just to kind of stretch and move my body uh, because I was tired of sitting in the car and that shit kind of, it takes a toll on you if, you, if you're going for that long. But um, take advantage of those days that nobody wants to go out. Those cold, rainy days, those days where it might even, you know, it might be a game on that somebody wants to watch go out on those days because it's always busy and especially if it has those peak pays you can really it really pays dividends because it just multiplies what you could make like for example if, if it's like a plus three day let's say you do two orders now you have an additional six dollars which could or could not be um a whole other dash depending on the orders that you accept whatever works best for you so those are my tips and strategies that i found that were very very successful for me for the month of february 
and March is going pretty good as well. Um, so if I break a record then, I'll update on any more strategies that I do, that I'm doing. I'm not really doing too many different strategies this month, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions about it, just let me know and I'll be happily, I will happily answer them. <laughs> All right, guys.